even though with all that's going on in the world right now, I wanted to offer you four questions to help you ground yourself in your business to take action in a productive way, a way that you know is productive to create self-sufficiency and to create impact, positive impact on others. Okay, so here are the four questions. And these are the four questions I ask myself frequently too to keep on coming back to, am I moving in the right direction for my business? So the first question is, what is my content creation plan? What's my rhythm for getting content out there? And as you know, you see me, some of you are seeing this on Instagram, some of you are seeing this on Facebook or, or YouTube or somewhere else. So you know that I show up regularly. And it's one of the most important things that I do in my life. No matter what's going on in the world, no matter how crazy things are, no matter how fearful things are or whatever, and no matter what's going on in my own life, even when I'm sick, I make sure that I sleep a lot, that I you know drink water, and that I make content. So for those of you who have followed me for a while, been around, you know that I show up and make content and explore my thoughts and try to bless you through making positive impact in your life and in your day through content. I try to do that consistently. So that's something that I invite all of us to ask ourselves. What is our content creation plan? It could be making videos. It could be writing articles. Whatever it is, do it consistently. When I first started making videos, I did it Monday through Friday without fail. Every single day, Monday through Friday, just one to ten minute videos until I got to no video number 100 before I started to do only three videos a week, et cetera, et cetera. So what's your content, whether it's writing, if you can write every day, it's gonna be easier than writing only once a week. That's the strangest thing. You don't have to write a lot. Even if you write 10 words a day, that's okay, right? Content creation. Second question is what's your content distribution plan? Because if you're creating stuff, but you're not getting it out there effectively, you're not really making an impact. And it's probably discouraging to you because you're not getting the engagement back. So content distribution would be on whatever social media that you enjoy playing on. Okay, be sure to put it there. But also if you have an email newsletter, be sure to do that. If you know how to run Facebook ads or Instagram ads, be sure to do that. If you can reach out to any friends or colleagues to help you spread a piece of content that you're really proud of, be sure to do that, okay, individual outreach. Which, um, and then the third question, so one is content creation, second one is content distribution, third one is what is your plan for a rhythm of offers? Letting your audience know what services you have, what products you have, because I'll tell you the truth, your audience do not remember what services you offer or what products you offer. I'm surprised all the time even. My tr truest fans, my biggest fans, they don't even realize, oh, George, I didn't, offer, didn't know you offered a course on this or I didn't know you did this kind of service. Your audience is busy with their own lives. They're thinking of themselves. So they're not thinking of your service or your, no matter how much you think they're a true fan, you have to have a regular rhythm of letting them know, you know, a post once a week or a post once every two weeks, hey, this is what I'm offering this month. Okay, just want to let you all know in case you are interested or you know someone who is interested. I'm grateful for you to share this with someone. You know, however it is, what is your offer, rhythm of offers, letting your audience remind them again of what you do in your business? And then the fourth question is what is your plan for connections or what I call net caring? Instead of networking, it's net caring. What's your plan for that? Because if you're not keeping in touch on a consistent basis with your past clients, if you have any, or with your colleagues, people who could refer business to you, if you're not keeping in touch with them, you're just like everybody else who doesn't keep in touch. So I'll say if you do keep in touch, you're going to be one of the few people that they hear from. And it's really a delight. And when you reach out, it's not like, hey, will you please promote this for me or will you please help me sell this? reach out genuinely to see, to appreciate something about them, to see how they're doing. Maybe to get together and catch up on a 15 minute, 30 minute call to see what you both are working on, how you can help each other. 
genuine connection just to see how they're doing. You don't have to ask them to promote anything, but just to say, hey, what's going on in your business? What's going on in your life? I want to appreciate you for this today. That's it. That's just want to say hi. You know, so a plan for consistent neck care, even just one person a week. If you can do two or three people a week, that would just be way better than most people. Most of us don't keep in touch at all. So I hope this is helpful. What's your content creation plan, content distribution, your rhythm of offers, letting your audience know, and your rhythm of net caring or connections. I'm George Cow. Thank you for joining me for this video. I love talking about authentic business and doing marketing authentically, and I hope this is genuinely helpful to you. I wish you well. Thanks for joining me.